Hallelujah Scriptures Extra Biblical Books, all in one. I'm going to start with the book of Jubilees. The book of Jubilees covers much of the same ground as Genesis, but often, or Bereshith, but often with additional detail. The entire history of creation and of Yasharel up to that point is recounted in divisions of 49 years each, or Yoblin, Jubilees, the elapsed time for, from the creation, up to Moshe receiving the scriptures on Mount Sinai. Between 1947 and 1956, approximately 15 Jubilee scrolls were found in five caves at Qumran, among what are known as the Dead Sea Scrolls, all written in Hebrew. The large quantity of manuscripts, more than any biblical books, except for the Psalms, Deuteronomy, Isaiah, Exodus, and Genesis in descending order, indicates that Jubilees was widely used at Qumran. Yoblim or Jubilees 1 And it came to be in the first year of the children of Yasharel coming out of Mitzrayim, Egypt, in the third month on the sixteenth day of the month, that Elohim spoke to Moshe, saying, Come up to me on the mountain, and I shall give you two tablets of stone, of the Torah and of the command which I have written, that you may teach them. I want to pause there. This happens after Exodus 20, when Yah, Yahweh Elohim, gives himself out of his own mouth the commands of the people, and the people move away from Yah, and they request that Moshe be the one to communicate to them because of their fear. So Moshe went up into the mountain of Elohim, and the glory or esteem of Yahweh dwelt on Mount Sinai and a cloud overshadowed it six days. And he called to Moshe on the seventh day out of the midst of the cloud, and the appearance of the esteem of Yahuwah was like a flaming fire on the top of the mountain. And Moshe was on the mountain forty days and forty nights. And Elohim taught him the earlier and the latter history of the division of all the days of the law and of the witness. And he said, Incline your heart to every word which I shall speak to you, on this mountain, and write them in a book in order that their generations may see how I have not forsaken them, for all the evil which they have done in transgressing the covenant which I established between me and you for their generations this day on Mount Sinai. And so it shall come to be, when all these matters come upon them, that they shall recognize that I am more righteous than they in all their judgments and in all their actions, and they shall recognize that I have been true with them. And you shall write for yourself all these words which I declare to you this day, for I know their rebellion and their stiff neck, before I bring them into the land of which I swore to their fathers, to Abraham, and to Yitzhak, and to Jacob, saying, Unto your seed I shall give a land flowing with milk and honey. And they shall eat and be satisfied, they shall turn to strange mighty ones, to mighty ones which cannot deliver them from any of their tribulation. And th this witness shall be heard for a witness against them. Verse 9. For they shall forget all my commands, even all that I command in them. And they shall walk after the Gentiles, and after their uncleanness, and after their shame, and shall serve their mighty ones. And these shall come to be an offense to them, and a tribulation, and an affliction, and a snare. And many shall perish, and they shall be taken captive, and shall fall into the hands of the enemy, because they have forsaken my laws, and my commands, and my festivals of my covenant, and my, my Sabbaths, and my Kadesh, or holy place, which I have Kadesh for myself in their midst, and my temple, and my prophets, which I have made holy, or Kadesh, for myself in the midst of the land, that I should place my name upon it, and there it should dwell. And they shall make for themselves high places of Ashram, that's Asherah, that's from Ishtar, and worshiping the heavenlies, and carved images, and they shall worship each his own 
so as to go astray, and they shall offer their children to demons, and to all the works of the straying of their hearts. And I shall send witnesses to them, that I may witness against them, but they shall not hear, and shall slay the witnesses also, and they shall persecute those who seek the law. They shall persecute those who seek the law, and they shall overturn and change all so as to work evil before my eyes. And I shall hide my face from them, and I shall deliver them into the hand of the Gentiles for captivity, and for a prey and for devouring. And I shall remove them from the midst of the land, and I shall scatter them among the Gentiles. And they shall forget all my Torah, my instructions, and all my commands, and all my right rulings, and shall go astray as to new moons, Sabbaths and festivals, and jubilees and laws. Verse 15. And after this they shall turn to me from among the Gentiles, with all their heart, and with all their being, their soul, and with all their strength. And I shall gather them from among all the Gentiles, and they shall seek me, so that I shall be found by them. When they seek me with all their heart, and with all their soul, their being. Those are the words Yahushua spoke, the Son of the Most High. He said, You shall love Yahweh Elohim with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And I shall reveal to them great peace with righteousness, and I shall plant them in this land in truth with all my heart and with all my soul, and they shall be for a blessing, a barakah and not for a curse, and they shall be the head and not the tail. And I shall build my temple in their midst, and I shall dwell with them, tabernacle with them. And I shall be their Elohim, and they shall be my people in truth and righteousness. And I shall not forsake them nor fail them, for I am Yahuwah, their Elohim. Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven, or Shamayin, and a new earth, for the former Shamayin and the former earth had passed away. And I, Yohanan, saw a holy city, Kadesh city, renewed Yerushalayim, coming down out of the Shamayin from Elohim, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the Shamayin saying, See, the tabernacle of Elohim is with men. And he shall dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Elohim himself shall be with them, and be their Elohim. And Elohim shall wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, no mourning, no crying, and there shall be no more pain, for the former has passed away. And he who was sitting on the throne said, See, I make all new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are trustworthy and true. And Moshe fell on his face and prayed and said, O Adonai, my Elohim, do not forsake your people and your inheritance, so that they should wander in the straying of their hearts. Do not deliver them into the hands of their enemies, the Gentiles, lest they should rule over them and cause them to sin against you. But let your kindness, O Adonai, be lifted up on your people and create in them an upright spirit. And do not let the spirit of Baal rule over them to accuse them before you and to ensnare them from all the paths of righteousness so that they might perish from before your face. But they are your people and your inheritance, which you have delivered with your great power from the hands of the Egyptians and its rights. Create in them a clean heart and a Holy Spirit, Kadesh Spirit. And do not let them be ensnared in their sins from this time and forever. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, I know their unruliness and their thoughts, and they are stiff-necked, and they shall not be obedient till they confess their own sin and the sin of their fathers. Verse 23. And after this they shall turn to me in all uprightness and with all their heart 
and with all their soul, their being. And I shall circumcise the foreskin of their heart and the foreskin of the heart of their seed. And I shall create in them a Kodesh, a Holy Spirit. And I shall cleanse them so that they shall not turn away from me from the day unto eternity. And their souls or beings shall cling to me and to all my commands. And they shall perform my commands and I shall be their father and they shall be my children. And they shall be called children of the living Elohim. And every messenger and every spirit, every angel that shall know, even they shall know that these are my children and that I am their father in uprightness and righteousness and I love them. And you shall write down for yourself all these words which I declare unto you on this mountain, the first and the last, which shall come to be in all the divisions of the days in the law and in the witness and in the Sabbaths and in the jubilees forever until I descend and dwell with them forever. And he said to the messenger, the angel of the presence, so there was an angel there, write for Moshe from the beginning of creation till my temple has been built among them forever. And Yahuwah shall appear to the eyes of all. And all shall know that I am the Elohim of Yasharel and the father of all the children of Jacob the sovereign on Mount Sion forever. And Sion and Jerusalem shall be holy, Kadesh. And the messenger, the angel of the presence, that word can also be host, who went before the camp of Yasharel, took the tablets of the divisions of the years from the time of the creation of the law and of the witness of the Sabbaths, of the jubilees, that's every 49 and 50 years, according to the individual years, according to all the number of the jubilees, from the day of the creation, when the heavens and the earth, the shamayin and the earth, shall be renewed, and all their creation, according to the powers of the heavens, the shamayin, and according to all the creation of the earth, until the temple of Yahweh shall be made in Jerusalem on Mount Sion, and all the lights be renewed for healing and for peace and for a barakah, a blessing, for all the chosen of Yasharel, and so it shall be from that day to all the days of the earth. That's the end of chapter one of Jubilees.